Hello everyone, and welcome back to another live stream. How is everyone doing today? Can we get some bananas in chat? That would be lovely if we could. I'm going to be playing on a Suminati today. MC Fex, thank you so much for the bananas and Kildor. Appreciate it. <laughs> Manglu. Ian Ballacy, I remember how to say it. <laughs> I remember how to say it. Excellent. Right, we are on the Assuminati server. We're going to be working on this room again. And Zip Zip says, in Scrap Mechanic you can do an experiment to test how much a thruster can lift by making hovering machines easy. You can test how much a thruster can lift. Hmm, maybe. Maybe there's there's something to that, but we're not doing... <laughs> Kildor says, banana in your mouth, Derp Suma. Oh, I've not had a banana today, I've had fruit salad. So I've had me five a day. Um, oh, that, was that there before? Probably was. Probably was there. Uh, we're going to need some blocks for doing this. Also, I can't fly. Let's make sure we can fly. By the way, noise in here. <laughs> Hi, Cliff uh, Werder. Thank you so much for the subscription. I hope you have a good time with today's stream. As always, thank you for your support and take my apologies for butchering your name. <laughs> anyway, have a great time. And what was I about to say? The pre-stream song today was... Uh, Alice in Chains, your decision. So if you liked that, go check it out. And also, did you like the little thing that I did to the screen where you could see the name of the song? <laughs> um, yeah, I got Winamp to sort of show what it was playing. So, yeah, let me know if you liked that. Right, so anyway, uh, we need some more of these blocks up top. And I think when we left off, we had sort of run out of them. We got Darkstone, but that's not the type of block we want, is it? It's... Dark stone tile. So what's the recipe for that? Let's have a little look and find out. No, that's I haven't deleted everything there, that's why. <laughs> Dark stone tile, the last one, is that it? No, ornate tile, that one. Just nine dark stone in a grid. That's fantastic, because we've got some dark stone over here. And by the way, today we're gonna have a giveaway. So we're listening to the new Orang album. And that was released, like, yesterday. I got home yesterday and, and saw that had been released. And then Orang, kindly enough today, sent me a bunch of codes and said, you know, hand them out to your peeps. And I thought, excellent, we'll, we'll do just that. So we're going to have a little bit of a giveaway going on. Oh, it looks like we actually already had some in our inventory. So, we've done a ton of stuff in this room, really, haven't we? I think I wanted to put something in the middle bit there, so we might leave that blank for the moment. And... Oh, I've got to get back into the groove here. Uh, Jerome said I liked it, but it could use some higher resolution. Uh, it doesn't really have an option to go higher than that. I've, I've sort of zoomed in on the screen and then stretched it to make it look big. So that's why it looks odd. Um, yeah, so looking over at this bit, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I kind of want to do something with these pillar blocks and this bit right here. I want it to sort of open up a touch. So I think what we should do the starters is turn that into a square and get some digging going on over here. Which is always a good way to get things started with some basic digging. I don't hear music, says Ice Fryer. It is very quiet, this track. Maybe I'll turn it up a touch. Just a touch. Gel Kip has joined. Buddy, if you're watching the stream, feel free to come over and hang out. That reminds me. Oh, we can actually destroy blocks quickly with this. Fascinating. Okay, we could use our shovel as well. Oh, and now they reappear. I'm not surprised. It seems like Instant Mine is the only thing that's worth digging with on this server lately. The connection has been terrible for a while. Look at this, getting popped back. No good at all, is it? It's a little bit dark and gloomy over here as well. Uh, I'm twitching in my seat. It says, hey X, have you seen the new Star Wars? If so, did you like it? I loved it. I thought it was great. I think, uh, like all movies, it has some flaws, some criticisms you can make. But in general, I think it was really good. Now we've got a load of junk. A load of junk. And we've got some noise in me here because we've got a new subscriber on the channel. It's Husky Mutt 808 has subscribed. Thank you so much for your support, buddy. Now can I get to my sword? Yes, I can. Here's your sword waggle. <laughs> Thank you. And I hope you have a good time with today's stream. And, uh, oh yeah, of course, check out in chat the Discord app. And, uh, and yeah, we still haven't organised the Extreme UHC. Probably need to get on doing that real soon. For those of you that have been asking, there's not going to be... Um, Extreme UHC on my second channel because there was very little for me to record. Unfortunately, 
I, uh, I died really early on after missing some of the game due to not having teammates. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of gone down the pan a little. Right, let's swap over to this one and put away... Oh, wow, inventory management and lag. Two things that aren't too great. Chuck those in there for now. Right, so we were going to go and have a look at something. I'm getting distracted by all the distractions. Fulks has made a sheep farm over here. Oh, she also sorted out the little blaze blocks in the room. Uh, changed the floor blocks for blaze blocks. Check it out. Don't they look amazing? I like it. That's great. Also, I'm picking up things from over there. Let's go grab them <laughs> before they freak out and cause issues or something. M's Craft MC says, I was watching Hermitcraft and you interrupted me. Oh, we got a visitor here in the guest, in the in the base. In the guest. What? <laughs> it's Joel Kip. Awesome. Uh, let's have a look then. So yes, Fawkes has made the sheep farm look pretty. And I'll tell you what, I absolutely love it. <laughs> this is really cool. This is, this is better than what I could have imagined right here. I love the derpy sheep's face on the back wall. <laughs> that's that's awesome. We got a, a scarecrow over here, and the sky. It looks really great, actually. It really does. That's a really good idea to use those blocks. It does feel like we're genuinely outside in a little bubble world. And then there's some coloured stone bricks here for clouds and the sky. That's fantastic. I don't know if Fawkes is watching, but she did a great job here. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. I love the uh, little lanterns and these on the ground, the paths. Excellent. So that's another room of the base done. And I don't know if anyone touched any of the other stuff. We'll go have a look. And we've got another noise in here. here. Uh, awesome Math has been working on something. We've got a cactus farm. Excellent. Look at that. That looks really cool. Um, let's see if we can pop down and figure out how this thing works. Actually, I think it's really simple. It's almost vanilla, you could say. Oh, there's sandstone as well. So they're basically going to cause the cactus items to pop off when they grow. And then this thing's going to pick it up. Or oh, did I just change it? <laughs> I think I might have just broken it. Right, how big does it go? 3, 3.5, 4. Right, let's put it all the way up to 4. Because I right clicked it and it changed. There we go. So it'll pick up everything from down there. Looks like this room needs a little bit of decoration. I don't know if, uh, if Awesome Math was planning on finishing that. But maybe we could go in there and do that as well. Uh, also, there's some blocks missing from the side there. But yeah, another room underway. Uh, so we've got a noise in the air. It's a donation from HuskyMutt808 saying, Long time follower on the Hermitcraft series. Always looking for forward... No, always looking for new uploads on YouTube. Well, thank you for your donation, buddy. The next episode of Hermitcraft will be coming out... Um, let's see. Day... No, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. And it'll be a good one. We built something really awesome in that video. And uh, I guess you'll probably all like it. Right, so nothing done down here yet. Weapon gallery. Yes. Do it awesome, Math. I don't know if you're watching. Let's remove and replace this sign. And and just say yes. That's a great idea. So, if we've got an armory and a weapon gallery, maybe there can be two similar things around here. Like different tools or something. Uh, Gary the Lawnmower. Interesting name. <laughs> says 1.9 not out yet. Nope, it's still not out. It is still not out, my friend. Right, anyway, we're going to head back down here now. And what were we doing? We were trying to dig out this area over here. It needs to be a little bit bigger, I think. We really could do with some torches, but I haven't got any to hand. So you'll have to bear with me. It's going to be dark for a moment, not too long. We'll just uh, crack away about that much and then dig downwards with it. Okay. Uh, oh, that, okay. <laughs> I was about to answer someone in chat and then it moved past very quickly. Mr. Cookie says, will you be doing more live videos? If you mean live streams like this, um, I live stream every other day. Today is like a normal live stream day. And on occasions, I you know do extra streams. Like tomorrow, I'm planning on doing an extra stream. But uh, no promises just yet. We'll see how it goes. I want to do some scrap mechanic tomorrow, the day after probably do some more Assuminati. How does that sound? Man, this, this block lag is ridiculous. Look, it, it all pops off a moment later. That's modded Minecraft for you though. Playing on the server, it's never been too great. X, what is the plan today? Says uh, Bill... Bill Graham Marisa. The plan is... 
to work on this room. I mean, I'd like to finish it, but I think that might be a little bit too ambitious. I know uh, this room has taken me a while. Um, yeah, just continue building it and do as much as we can with this horrendous server lag we've got going on. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous, really, isn't it? X, when do you think 1.9 is going to come out, in your opinion? I don't think it'll be out for a couple of months. I, I mean, it could be out sooner. I just, it seems like there's way too many big, big bugs they need to fix. They focused on doing, my God, what is wrong with this? <laughs> they focused on doing all of the, uh, let's say, the sort of old bugs that need taken care of. Now this is a bit that we instant mined a moment ago. And it's just completely ignored that, which is kind of worrying. Joel Kip's helping out, which is fantastic. Thank you, Joel Kip. That's going to make our lives a lot easier over here. Right, we'll get this bit over here. You can get that bit. <laughs> Check the TPS of the server, says GSTAB. Absolutely. I've completely forgotten to do that. Uh, my chat is disabled. Let's put that back on and let's go forge TPS. Now... Normally it replies, there you go, 4 ticks per second, which means we need to do, yeah, we need to fix this. Okay, that's really poor. Thank you for the idea, uh, G-Stav. Let's, let's see, uh, what do I have to do? Type Opus? Yep, Opus is now loaded. You won't be able to see it. And what I do with Opus is I run it, first of all, and then it will come back with a load of information and we can go find where the lag is. Ah, but I didn't consider that. I didn't consider that it might be tick lag. Um, I reckon at 4 TPS we should find it pretty quickly. So I'm looking at uh, server timings for chunks. That's usually... Oh my god. Okay, we've got two here that have 22,000 items on. Okay, so you guys are going to see how we solve problems here. Um, I'm going to go into game mode 1. And I'm going to make sure my inventory is full, which it is. It means I will pick up items with the magnet, but they'll automatically go to this slot and get destroyed. So if there's any leaky items, which there are, uh, we will, yeah, we will be okay. So we've now been teleported. Uh, people in chat are saying Opus. The Doctor Soda says Opus. Yes, um, Opus is a tool for figuring out what's wrong with a server. So somewhere in this chunk, can you see all those items before it's even loaded? That's the lag. <laughs> That's why everything sucks right now. Now what I'd like to do is be able to teleport straight to it, but these are so laggy. I might fall into the void here. I don't like this. My god! <laughs> well, it's a good thing that they left this area open so we can walk straight into it. This is terrible! My days! Walk into it. Right, now the magnet should pick it all up. There you go, the magnet just picked all of it up. And now it's picking up everything else, and that's probably half of the lag gone from this alone. Whoa! This is crazy. Okay, whoever built this has uh, has not built it very well. We've got to basically disable it. And unfortunately, I don't really know any other way than to, let's say, what's this? This is a transfer node. What's going to be the best way to disable it? Probably to break that right there, I think. So we say no more items go into it. Sounds about right. Could also do with removing its power. Right, where's it getting the gravel from? Oh, the gravel's coming from over here. This must be... Actually, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. <laughs> um, this setup is... It's been a while since I've done this stuff. The red pipes are energy-only pipes, aren't they? So let's cut off the energy. Like that. Okay, and let's put that one back. Right, so now with the energy off... In fact, I shouldn't really be doing any of this. Here's what I should do. I should unload it and then leave. And then when they next log on, they'll see what the issue is. So there's chunk loaders. These these will just have to go. Um, all these spot loaders. Because they're keeping it loaded at the moment. Okay, and... That should do. There's a couple more items to pick up. Right, I'm not seeing any other spot loaders. There's a chunk loader here. We'll get rid of that. Uh-oh, that was... Oh. I just did a bad thing. That was an entity shifter and I don't know how to use them. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any admins are watching or anyone who knows how to do the entity shifters, but I broke it and I don't know how to fix it. 
Silly me. Okay, anyway, right, on to our next chunk. This is this one's going to be just as laggy. Maybe not quite as bad, because we've fixed this one. Are we going to get teleported? Oh, they might have been in the same place. Let's run Opus again and... Yes, they were the same place. Okay, so it was across two chunks. That means we can head back home. Which, if I remember correctly, is... One, two, eight, and then zero. I think that's roughly around my area. <laughs> yes, oh, it is. Oh, the way it loaded there for a second, it looked like it wasn't. Good stuff. Right, let's go inside the temple. I didn't grow these trees. Someone else has been growing those. That's not me. Right, and now we can get back to it, and hopefully things will be a little bit better this time. Got some uh, unresponsive chunks here. Okay, good stuff. Let's get back to it. <laughs> oh, I can't fly now because I've been teleporting. That's not good. So I've also got something I need to fix on my other screen quickly. If you're wondering why I'm in game mode 1 and you've just tuned in, it's because we're fixing issues on the server. X, return the spot loaders. Uh, Bill, I'm not going to because that will cause the same issue again. That's pretty much the uh, the deal here. Um, I think we've done enough for now, Joel Kip. For now. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just see how we go. Right, so we've got a uh, 2 3 2 thing going on here. So 2, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2. And then it's going to go back round again. Across this way. Or maybe that'll be the corner of the room. I think we should make the room bigger in that direction. Uh, the MC Desta says, please respond. I just did. I just responded. Did you see that? Give them back into a chest or something. Jerome, I could have done that. Um, spot loaders aren't exactly expensive. They're, they're very cheap and it shouldn't take someone long to, to fix that back. The deal is though, if, if you're going to, if you're going to, you know, create those sorts of farms and not build them properly, um, then that's going to happen. Pe like people are going to go over there to fix the lag. And your stuff's going to be removed, basically. That's just how it is on a, on a server like this. Okay, right, let's get back into building then. So we've got some dark stone tiles. It's the pillars I was interested in. Building like a, a pillar up to this thing right here. So if we have a look at where it is now, it's pretty much going to be... Like this size, although the bottom bit there is a little bit different. We'll probably make a, uh, a slope of sorts there. Assume, is your mod pack still the same as the one on your website? Uh, if you mean Assuminati, it's still the same mod pack, yep. It's because I haven't got a mod pack on my website, there's a link to it probably though. Let's have a look. We're going. Yeah, we're going up there to that bit. So I'm just doing like the pillars that will make up the corners and then we'll have a look at it and see what other blocks we can throw in here. Still on the smelt room says Silent Crimes. Yep. This room is just going to get bigger and bigger. We need some more basalt. And I hope there is enough. I don't see any... wait a minute. No. Yeah, it looks like we're running a little bit low. We'll have to head up top. Uh, when are you next streaming Hermit Cross? Says M of I, is it? M of I? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea at the moment. Oh, and there's loads of things here. The cactus farm is functioning, but it needs but needs design doing that later. Alright, so also Maths doing the design on the cactus farm. That's good. And this is the way... Aha, I see. So we'll need to integrate that into our area over here at some point. X looks like you you're gift went missing. Here it is again, K. Oh right, yeah, we opened that chest and it was just empty. Excellent. Well, we've got something else to look at there later on. Um, yeah, lots of things to do. Silent Crime says, greatest smelt room I've seen, if I do say so. Thank you. We've been putting a lot of effort into it. Right, so let's look for that basalt. Where do I keep it? I've forgotten like everything <laughs> about all of this over here. Cause it's been too long. Down we go. 
How are you still getting all this stuff? Quarries, says Bill. Uh, basically, all this, no, we don't have quarries on the pack, by the way. All the stuff that we've done so far, we've collected so many materials, we're at a point where we can just build and not really worry about it. There's farms everywhere, you know. We're at that sort of level. Connet would feel this should perhaps be a little bit further out and make it in the middle of this right here. Um, so we have like a, a two block border going around this little bit just for the base. That could look quite nice actually. And uh, we could have some slopes leading up to it. This is typical of me, always rebuilding stuff as I go along. Let's give it a try. Let's grab some slopes. We have a fair few of them. Uh, it would appear that those ones are slightly different though. Can we convert it? Yep, wedge slope. And we also need some like junky cobble to fill in some gaps. That should do us. Um, right, so the basalt's going to go here. We'll put some slopes on these blocks. Bring them up to the pillars. Do a corner one there as well. Alright, that's looking pretty good. wonder if I should really go with basalt again. I reckon a different material would look good. Now, I was told that the carpenter's hammer... Oh, oh that's not what I want you to do. <laughs> Can we undo that? Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be here all day if I try that. So apparently this thing can... Oh, there you go. You shift and click to take the texture out. Excellent. Been wanting to know that for a while. Also, Callum, hello. I see you in chat. How's it going? Right, so these things need to be up, ugh, up there. Right, so what other material could we try down here? What have we already used? Uh, maybe more of this one, actually, the wool and clay. Yeah, wool and clay, I reckon, might work. X who manages the mod pack. It's matched by... Ma managed? Matched? <laughs> it's matched by uh, Jotato. And... I don't see any wool and clay around here. Ah, maybe it's up top in storage again. Forever walking back and forth. Next time we do modded, we need some sort of like portable storage system. That's the way this thing is <laughs> slow, basically. Uh, what are we typing in? Woolen. Woolen clay. I guess we'll have to change some of those. Is that really all we've got left? Can't believe that. Right, and it was that shade right there. Let's pop back down and try that out. That pixel says, is Jotato a potato? No, he's a real person, believe it or not. The MC Desta says, I need help in my Minecraft map. Well, this isn't map support, but if you've got a question, ask it. And if I know the answer, I'll let you know. Right, yeah, that looks cool. I like that. It's a bit more sleek looking, isn't it? Let's uh, get some cobble so we can put the pillars up at this height. So that's where the pillars will start. And what was the gap between them? Three blocks. So it's going to end just over here. Now is that a wedge slope again? Oh no, that's the correct slope. Good, good, good. These slopes love to change themselves. Right. Put on clay. Get the pillars in place. Pizza2002.com says... Feels like Assuminati only just started. Wow, how time flies. It was only a few months ago. It was, what, de December? No, was it? Is it November? December, November time? I'm not actually sure, really. Maybe it was a little bit longer than that. Maybe it even started in, like, October. Right, and now more of this needs digging away. Great. <laughs> We're going into the old smeltery at this pace. Let's dig away all of this over here. Or at least give ourselves a little bit more breathing room over on this side. In the little in the little sheep says, are you going to say my username wrong again? In the little sheep one is pretty much what it says. I don't think I can get that one wrong. Of all the usernames, that one I'm confident about. When I use a Suminati, I place a mod spawner, and every time I load it, the game crashes. Any advice? Virtually demonic. If something crashes, don't use it. Um, 
and then go report it to the author of the mod. And that way, that's your best chance of getting something fixed. However, all of the mod authors are working on 1.8 at the moment, which is why there's no updates to the pack because there's nothing to update. All the all the mods are just sitting there, not being fixed, which is crazy. But there you go. Right, basalt. You are now going to move over here somewhere, around the corner like that. Uh, Man Manglu says, Suminati was started in October. There you go, long, long time ago. I'll tell you what we've got in our inventory. Speaking of light sources, we do have that. <laughs> that helps us see a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, um, so we're going to have, what is it? Two, gap of three, one, two, oops. Oh no, these blocks are slow to break, even with these tools. Hey, an autumn's online. Bam, there we go. Right, now this bit over here, I'm still not sure what we're gonna we're gonna have something similar where it comes across with the tanks. Uh, but as for the flowing iron, I'm not sure where we could put that as part of this tower actually. Oh what did I do there? I broke something. Broke something indeed. I think the type is that type right there. There we go. That is a little bit weird, the way things are flying around me there, but there you go. Right, and then they come across here. Uh, that one wouldn't be there. Two, three. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen on that side, actually. Bill Grammer says, what is that pick? It's a destruction pickaxe. That's about as much as I know about it. It was a gift given to me to help me do all the instant mine. Need some uh, cobblestone again. Toby Bennett says, hashtag full inventory. Yeah, it's really annoying getting a full inventory on this game. It just slows you down. But there you go. Got a noise in my ear here. It's uh, it's a donation from It's Fozzy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? He says, I'm just here. Don't mind me, good sir. Well, thank you so much for the donation, Fozzy. I hope you have a good time with today's stream. And uh, if you guys don't know who Fozzy is, he does all of the... Uh, community, well not all of them, but <laughs> he does all of those uh, community plots on uh, play.assumavoid.com When is the next one, Fozzy? Because uh, I know people love to get involved with them. And I'll tell them all about it. Oh, not that one. Okay, there we go. That's where it's going to rest. It's going to open up the rest of the room a bit more now as well. All of this needs to go. Uh, do you have the Traveler's Belt, Asuma? I do, G-Stav. Um, if I press F, I get my second inventory over here. Which is pretty cool. I like the way it works, but I think it could work a little bit better. Like, when you open your inventory, you actually see the second bar. Because lots of stuff gets, like, clogged in it. Uh, 2561 says, Did you build your PC, or was it pre-built? Um, it's a custom build, but I built it with a friend. Like, we ordered the parts, and then built it. And it's pretty rad. It must be like two years old now. And it's still doing good. Probably last another year at least. Also depends on what sort of games you play I guess as well. If like a really high fidelity game comes out and you want to play it you might have to upgrade the hardware. But I've got a uh, decent graphics card in it now so it should be good for a while. Now this bit over here I'm not sure if it's going to wrap the whole way around. But if we take a step back that definitely looks cool. I like where it's going, so we should continue with it. Now I'm thinking what we're going to do... Yeah, I've got a good idea. We need to find something to go on the middle side, and then I think we're going to have some iron pouring down, and then have some dark glass to hide it a little bit. So something like that. What kind of graphics card says Redstone? Uh, it is... Oh, does it not tell you on modded? Oh well. It's a GeForce 970, I think is the one, or 790, something like that. TB Games says don't place too much micro blocks, the server will get laggy. Yep, um, but we're not placing that many at all. We do have a fair few up here and some of them I need to destroy. And once again, I'm just going to go into game mode 1 to destroy those because it's ridiculous that you have to spend so long waiting for it. Uh, anyway, yeah, so let's put these in place, these pillars on this side. 
and then figure out what block to put in the middle. Maybe we could use some flint again. We haven't used flint too much in this room so far. Let's see how that checks out. Again, I've got to like manage my inventory. All right, blocks to be chucked away. There you go. Have some of that. <laughs> that can go in there as well. And swap back. Redstone said, did he just answer? I do believe I did. By the way, we're doing a, a giveaway of Orang's latest album, Land of the Five Seasons. It's uh, It's got, is it 13 tracks, I think? Just under an hour. And it comes with loads of really lovely artwork as well. Um, so look out for that in chat. And you will be able to win yourself a free copy if you pay attention to what's going on in chat. Cool. All right. Uh... Tahaki, Tahaki Ali <laughs> one says what's going on in this room sorry if I butchered your name uh, we're building a smeltery over here this looks pretty cool I like this it's a dark smeltery though it's deliberately like I guess you could say gloomy oh yeah let's go for that let's have it like a, a meter so you can see it through the window we're gonna put there okay so I need a bucket and I got a feeling I got rid of my bucket that wasn't very smart do we have one in here we do that's why we have that chest. Let's go grab this iron that's leaking around up here. Oh, I like that. I like the way you can see through um, that gap there. We're going to drop this right in the middle up here. Uh, but in order to do that... Oh yeah, how is this going to work? Am I going to put more flint? I think we're going to have flint because you're going to see through the gap. Yeah, we'll put flint up to there. That'll work just fine. X, I thought you didn't like modded, says uh, Emma V. Uh, I do like modded. I, there was a time when I didn't. But times have changed. And I'm very much a fan of modded Minecraft now. Right, there you go. That doesn't illuminate. I thought that would like give off a fair bit of light. But it, it gives off a tiny amount of light. I wonder if that's something to do with the uh, material, like if you chose something different to iron. Good good thing we have all these tanks over here, because we can do just that. Ponybutts is in chat. Hello, Ponybutts. How is it going? Right, I reckon this one over here, the obsidian, would be a nice one to try. Uh, no idea how obsidian and iron will interact with one another. Oh, there you go. It's going away now, so we'll put that there. Is that brighter? Is that offering up some light? I think it is. But again, not much difference. We'll uh, we'll stick with the iron. And what we'll do is go grab some dark glass. Oh, yep, over here. Alright, so our dark glass is in here. Tinted glass, that's what we want. And that should be more than enough. Alright, so if you want to have a shot of winning the new Orang album, just type LAND in chat. You only need to type it the once. It needs a capital L. It is case sensitive. Just LAND with a capital L and uh, and have a shot of winning the new Orang album. There's lots to give away, so it, there'll probably be more than one giveaway. Okay, we've got to be tricky with how we do this. Speaking of it giving out light, it won't be for much because we've got a window going on here. That's the last one. That looks good. Right, now we need like a little bit more underneath. Because there's a gap there. I think the best way to do it is just to build one, two, three like that and uh, another two over here. I think I'm going to sneeze. Oh, there we go. Alright, Twitch is still telling me that I'm offline, by the way. Does anyone anyone see the view count? It, ch chat today seems a little bit quiet. The view count seems to be broken. And I've heard rumours that YouTube is messing up today. Should probably check that my video went live okay. Right, but what do you all think of that? I know it looks really cool, actually. It looks like it holds up an important part of the room. So we'll try and keep that going for it. Right, so this bit here I reckon is going to look best if it joins up with it. 
So we're going to have blocks there. Uh, we might as well put in the top of all of this. And it makes sense now that we've got iron coming across the top. I'm glad I didn't change that material. What is going on here? <laughs> ah, so you're all posting numbers to me. It does look a little lower than usual. I'll go check on YouTube and see. Something probably went wrong there or somewhere. Or maybe it's just a quiet day today. Hmm, it is live. Oh well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Jekko Dragon says, view count is banana. Right, anyway, it doesn't matter. We can uh, crack on with this then and get a lot done. Now, the way I've set it up, I've just realised that those tanks would then look good if they went across to something else. But I think too many of them might look a little bit silly. And do you know what? I think having... I think you just want to have one tank like that going across and then maybe make these ones lamps in the corners. Now we've been using the same type of lamp over and over again. There is another type of lamp we could use and I think I've got a few of them left but what are they called? Internet broken today, X streaming today, hence internet broke. <laughs> maybe. Okay. What is it called? The, oh, wait, we can look at them. Glowstone Illuminator. Let's go see if we have more of those lying around. Keller Astro says, what is X doing? We're just working on the smeltery today. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Maybe we just use regular glowstone. Behind some tinted glass. That sounds like an idea. Okay, off in this direction we go. Jekko Dragon says, Lol, the music in the stream is the perfect volume for me to be playing a different song in the background, but I'm still able to listen to your voice. Well, that's good. We got it just right then by the sounds of it. Do you know, it'd be really nice if um, we could stream with dual audio and you'd just be able to like mute whatever music the streamer was playing. I mean, that's some next level stuff right there. Twitch will get on that one day. <laughs> Probably not today, but I reckon that's something you might see in the future. Seems like a really good idea anyway. Okay, so at this level now, we need to implement... Oh god, I've got no junk blocks again. It's because I chuck them away. Because the inventory is always getting filled up. There we go. Just a few of those is good. Okay, the winners of the giveaway are Dustin W 12 Not Very Extreme, Pizza2002.com, and XCryptLick. X -crip lick. <laughs> I'll say this again. Dustin W12, not very extreme. Pizza 2002 com and X -crip lick. So check your inbox for instructions on what to do to to get the the uh, the album that you just won. So congratulations, and there'll be another giveaway later on as well. Okay. Um, now I'm taking out blocks at the back. We're not actually going to see it from that bit over there, but whatever, it's good. So we've got our dark glass, we've got our basalt, and we're going to pop it in like that. That's going to make the glowstone ever so, ever so much uh, darker, very slightly. Okay, that is the way to go. Now you don't really get to see the glowstone too much from any of the angles. But it's nice and illuminated. I think that looks really good. Does Orang deliver a license with his album? Uh, MP7767, if you want to use his music for monetary reasons, then just contact him directly. be the best way to deal with that. Right, so as we destroy these, they're all dropping on the ground separately and they're probably not grouping up. Which isn't great, but we do what we can. Okay, so the next priority is to take these and get them moving across the next bit, actually, and this bit here. Right, you can sort of see where it goes inside that area, but maybe from down below you'll probably never actually see that, will you? And then it can come over there. I can hear... Oh, I know what I can hear! <laughs> I can hear that little noise popping away in the background. It sounded quite amusing. 
Okay, yeah, that's good. So let's pick up the rest of these tanks, which we can't. I think the best thing to do is probably to plop them down like this and they'll find their way back down. All the way to the bottom. There we go, a few more. Huh. However, that thing's now full up. I don't know what's going on there, but we'll just fill up this space for now. And there's a whole bunch of stuff whizzing around me again. Okay, that should do. Blue's Fire said, I wish I had the imagination to build crazy stuff like this. Interesting. Um, I reckon you probably do. I reckon everyone does. You just gotta, uh, more than anything, have the patience and the determination. Now, we're cheating. I know. What are we doing? We can't do that. That's cheating. I don't care. <laughs> I am absolutely sick and tired of not being able to change that. It's my mod pack. You should be able to instant mine these blocks. It's silly. Uh, anyway, we're going to do that and then we're going to pop back into zero. Does that disable flying? It does. Of course it would. Why would it not? That is an annoying bug. Um, and then we're going to finish placing these down now. So, we want to put them on the corner of the previous one. Just like that. Yeah, we can do that. That's good. Hey, X, school is out for half term. Would that have anything to do with the views? Uh, if anything, that would mean you're more likely to get more at half term. And, oh. Thanks for pointing that out as well. Keep keep it in mind that the next next week there might be more viewers around, but maybe not today. Right, that can go in that little gap. Excellent. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. Right, now that looks so much better, I think. I really do. I also can't help but think we need just the extra one there. And that's going to complete it. Excellent. Right, that's the way we're going to do this. On this side, we're going to fill in those gaps and leave it like that. Now, from down here, you're never really going to see through that gap too much. I probably should do something about it, but I'm not sure what. Right, and then this one over here needs the same treatment. Um, except, isn't it on the outside that they are? Yeah. So how do we place that? Like that? Yeah, like that. There we go. Some of you are saying you've already had your week off. You go back on Monday. Interesting. Maybe it's just the different countries. What are you building? Says uh, Jervamar. We are building or working on our smeltery. That's looking pretty good. I can hear that I can hear that zombie wobbling up and down on the slime block now. It's a bit ridiculous. There we go. Right, we probably shouldn't go too much further than that now that I think about it, because I don't know where that's gonna end up. But there you go. Looks pretty cool. Iron and stuff getting moved around. Now we need to think about what's gonna happen on the opposite side. And with the rest of this room, we need to do some serious digging again and open all of this up. Which is not exactly what I want to do 100% right now. Um, there are other things I wanted to do, but I don't think enough people or the right person is online. We could go check out um, that chest that was left to us. But apparently somewhere on the server there's the equivalent of Hermit Frills. And I want to check that out and see what's going on over there. So that sounds pretty cool. When are you going to stream Hermitcraft again? Last stream was the best. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. It will probably just depend on when there's something that needs doing that's streamable, I guess. Which is what we were supposed to do last time, and then we just ended up pranking Mumbo. <laughs> Which is probably what will happen next time. We'll go on there to do something, and then we'll end up pranking someone. Which is kind of how it goes. Is this on your YouTube X? I don't know if I've ever watched it, and I tend to watch most of your Minecraft related videos. Uh, Death Brigade Assuminati is on YouTube, but it's a series that I stopped about a month after I started recording it. Because what I did was I just sort of recorded the videos in and around my uh, my live streams, and then that didn't really work out. I didn't really feel that one too much, and especially now, um, where we, we're just at a stage where we just casually build stuff, and it's not quite the same as doing videos on technical stuff because I've gotten to a point now where I've done so many farms, I've got so many materials, it, everything feels a little bit pointless. Um, but building doesn't. Building feels like uh, 
cool thing to do. Let's oh we've got a visitor, it's autumn over here. Let's uh, chuck these junky items around and he's given me an angel ring. I know what this is for, it's for flight. And I'm gonna guess that I don't have to uh, reset it each time. Oh there it is. What what happened there? <laughs> Oh, it goes on that one. So now I've probably got some wings. No, I think he's given me maybe the plain one. You can craft them with different things. And uh, I'm sure Autumn's watching. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, let's eat some steak. He's nodding. He's nodding. He's watching. Uh, Boosatron says, hello, this is my first stream. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to Twitch. We're, uh, we're working on the Assuminati base over here. And we're actually going to go take a... <gasps> No, 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 don't do that. That's bad. We uh, we want those to... Why are you like that? <laughs> Why are you like that? That looks so strange. We want to keep these around for sure. Yeah, we're going to go check out a few other things here. We've just been working on the uh, smeltery room again. We spent so much time on this, but I don't mind. It's, I mean, look at all the digging we've got to do. This room is massive. It's no surprise it took so long. And a noise in my ear. Got a new subscriber here. That rhymed. I think I say that every time now because I always say the same thing. Uh, we got a new subscriber. It's N2 Mini Mining M N2 Mining MC. There we go. Managed to read it in the end. Thank you so much for your subscription, buddy. I hope you have a great time with today's stream. Thank you so much for your support and check in chat and uh, and join the Discord app chat that we have of all of the Twitch subscribers if you want to. At the moment, though, there's no set date for Extreme UHC. In fact, Autumn, if you're watching, we need to talk about that. So, uh, like, remind me after the stream. I'll, I'll pop on onto TeamSpeak and probably have a chat quickly. Yeah, so let's get everything done up until this point, and then we'll move on from this room and come back in a little bit. Because we just want to free up some space, really. It's going to be a massive room, though. Is there a stream tomorrow, says Jimmy Wimmy? There's probably going to be a morning stream on Scrap Mechanic. I've got some stuff I need to do that I wanted to stream. But no promises, it is an extra day, so we'll see how things go. Most likely I will be streaming, but... Just when it's not my scheduled day, I, I don't like to, to promise it. <laughs> just in case something comes up. Alright, that's, that's looking alright then. We freed up some space there to continue building. Uh, Cleewood says, is this a private server? It's not, it's my Patreon server. Um, there's a link on the screen to my Patreon as well. And also, if you're interested in the mod pack, you can get a link to that on the screen as well. Uh, we're just going to leave the inventory full, I guess. And we're going to hop um, and check out what's going on. What is it? A battlesuit shop from Crux, that's right. Uh, whoops, looks like someone plifford the battlesuit I left you. No worries, with on demand. Manufacturing and plenty of supplies. A fully upgraded battle suit can be made just for you. Turn over. You just head up west from the teacup at spawn, up the hill, and you to your right. You cannot miss the giant head spouting the latest battle suit fashion. Donations of supplies to keep the shop stocked for the next person appreciated, but not required. PTO. The suit does require power, so enjoy this complimentary RF entangler. And the server's been closed. What's going on there? <laughs> It's 8 o'clock. It's the uh, the usual time that it restarts, I guess. Brilliant. Sarah Gore, hello. Welcome back to uh, to another stream. And Chef Tom Tomatoes as well. Welcome back. Ah. Right, looks like we're waiting for a server restart then. That was unfortunate timing. I knew that was going to happen though, because it happens at 8 o'clock when we're streaming. Might take a while for it to come back up as well. I can close OPS, OPIS now, OPIS, whatever you want to call it. How can I fix the Whalian mod if it's not working? Jan, you'll just have to contact the mod author to ask him about that. I don't really know. A red miner says, what are you drinking? It's it's English breakfast tea. I've run out of my favourite Assam at the moment, so it's back to English breakfast. The first one I drank, I was like, yuck, not this again. And then like, I got used to it immediately. Right, back on we go. X, you should try to make unstable ingot. Uh, Bill, I know exactly what you're trying to get me to do there, and I'm not going to do it. Uh, right, so where were we? If not needed, as you already have a form of wireless recharging on your RF-powered gear, 
then leave at the battle suit shop. Cool, so there's an RF entangler and a, a quibit cell, but let's go check out the shop and see what's going on over there. <laughs> Red Miner says, you and Biff have got me hooked on tea. Isn't tea lovely? It's great. Have you tried Irish breakfast tea? I have not, Jay. Irish breakfast tea. Right, where are we going? We are... Oh no, we're going up top, aren't we? Ian Ballasy says, enjoy your tea extra today, X. I can't enjoy any since it's extremely hot in LA. It is really cold over here. I mean, <laughs> it's not even fun. Right, we were told to head west and then turn right and there's some sort of battle suit. Oh, there you go. I can see it. He's right. You can't miss it. <laughs> can't miss it at all. The battle suit shop. We are here. This looks pretty cool. We've got some entity shifters. Do we use these? Oh, yep. That's how you get down here. That looks pretty cool. Glass covers over uh, sky blocks. Clever stuff. And what is this? That looks like diamonds. Oh no, it's not. Oh, that's what the battle suit looks like. We might actually have that lying around in a chest then. So I thought it was something different. So, oh, these are the things it costs, is it? Wow. Ten never stars. Twelve titanium ingot ingots. Right, we've got some things here that we could definitely give. Right, yeah, let's go. Right, let's find out if we've got a battle suit and then maybe we'll make a donation and, and get one. Pop down. Sarah Gore says, "Try making an unstable ingot." Then I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I've done it. I've done the one crafting of that, and I'm not going to bother with it again. Oh, where is the? Is it there? It's that one. Okay, over we go. Walker says, "What's really cold by UK standard?" Then I, I don't know. I think it's been around uh, like two or three. Is it Celsius or degrees? I never remember which one we're on. But yeah, very, very cold. At least for us. <laughs> I think. Uh, it's, it, fe it feels really cold out there. Anyway. Uh, we came back to check out if we had a battle suit. Right, now we don't have by searching like that. I mean, yeah. We're not going to find it. But I could have swore we had that in there. Maybe. Maybe it's down on one of the armor stands at the bottom. Got a feeling it might be down here. Lee Spork says, what are those teleportation things from? We'll have a look when we pop back around again. Do you know what? We don't have it down here. Okay, so we don't have a battle suit. We had one. It disappeared. And we'll uh, we'll head back up top. Bo Boostertron says, do you like bananas? Real question. I do. I do like bananas. I'll eat one every day or every other day at least. Let's have a look. Um, right, so Never Stars was one of the things. Oh yeah, we can't type that. Right, we've got two Never Stars there. And then I think they wanted diamonds. Let's grab a few of those. Um, and then we've got plenty of the other ones. Man, my inventory is just full of junk, isn't it? <laughs> right, we'll chuck that in there. Lava Stone we might end up using. Dark Glass or Tinted Glass, we're probably done with for now. So we'll grab some Iron. And some gold. Right, 16. Let's get 16 of these as well. Right, hopefully that'll be a big enough, a fair enough donation right there. Oh, I just heard a zombie taking damage. What's going on up here? Evil Asuma. What's he up to? He's up to something. He's up to something. Uh, the Entity Shifter, by the way, is from Ganny's End. You can see it there, now that we're next to it and we can look at it. Okay, um, which direction is it? This one? Looks like it. Hey X, why don't you look into Applied Energistics? Uh, Zeal, I've tried to learn it a couple of times, and every time it just drives me mad. <laughs> I, uh, I don't like it, it's too complicated. Right, let's pop down here. Right, I don't know how that works, but we've made our way down here, so there we go. What did it say it needed again? 
Uh, ten never stars. I mean, I've only got two. Lots of diamonds, gold ingots, and iron. So all of that stuff should be good. Let's. Uh, can we? No, we don't interact with that, do we? Where do we put the donations? Oh, down there. Excellent. Okay. In you go. Right, and then they probably whizzle their way around over there. Let's take a battle suit then. We've uh, we've earned it, I'd like to say, but we haven't really. Oh, and I've still got a full set of armor there. Right, so we've got just enough slots to carry it back. Andy says, AE is very boring. Every modded Minecraft series consists of about 10 episodes on it. I'm not surprised. It's extremely complex stuff. A block in the star says, Asuma, you killed my evil Asuma. I did. I did. He was in my base. He was invading. X, it's like one month since I've seen one of your live streams. What has happened? Uh, comed is it Comedy Kareva Live? I can't even say your name. But what has happened, buddy? What, what, where have you been? We've been streaming all, all over the month. It's not like I haven't, I've stopped streaming or something. In fact, we've been doing more streams than ever recently. Uh, actually, we probably want to go up to this level. And chuck some of our... Let's see, let's swap over to our fancy new armour. Oh, check that out. Bam, that looks cool. Did that just change my vision as well? I think it did. And immediately it's taken some durability from somewhere. Um, okay, so these things can just go in there now. And that's us. That's the new me. I don't like the helmet. I'm going to take it off. <laughs> that one, that can go in here. Oh, except I can't. Okay, now I can shift it in there. Whatever. Right, down we go. And off to the orange room. Whoa, that is fast. Oh, that's because of the boots, isn't it? I'm not sure if I like that. It does it when we're flying too. That could be a good or a bad thing. We'll have to see if we can get used to it. I've got a feeling though I'm not going to be too keen on that. That's a bit, ooh, a bit fast, isn't it? Right, so we've got to take out this side of the room and work on the wall over here. And bring it around to the other side. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, actually, I'm really not keen on this. Movement is very, very fast. What is the block you are using for storage, says uh, Alex. It's the storehouse. It's part of uh, Jotato's mods, which are in the mod pack. Which one specifically? I think it's Quantum Flux, but don't quote me on that. There we go. Oh, is that? Oh, it's just marble. I thought that was an elevator for a second. But the helm gives you night vision. Yeah, it seems good, but maybe not, because now I can't see... Oh, actually, yeah. I'm not going to see the darkness in the room as much. Oh, that is taken off. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I was thinking it was all bright then. Right, I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad we took the helmet off then. Um, right, so we've gone for this little thing over here. We're probably going to mirror that on this side, aren't we? With some polished basalt. I tell you what, I cannot stand this speed. What is doing that? Is it the chest plate? Nope, it's probably the boots, isn't it? There we go, it's the boots. Right, we won't bother with them then. Okay, um, so we're going to mirror what we got on that side. More basalt, more things in my face. <sighs> How annoying is that? Okay, and then... Right, so we got... Oh, these blocks in my face need to go away already. I think it's Quantum Flux, Asuma says Ajan, quoting me there. There is a mod called... Quantum Flux. And yes, there it is. Look. That's... Well, it's one of these blocks. Yeah, it's Quantum Flux. And resubscribe hype. Pony butts. Resubscribing for three months in a row. Oh, pressing all the wrong buttons there. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support, Pony butts. Really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great time with today's stream. And I don't need to tell you about the Discord app. You're already a, a part of that, which is great. So, yeah, have a great time with this one. Now, what are we going to do? I'm sort of half tempted to copy the whole curve in the 
ceiling thing on this side, but we've got to do something different. And I think I'd like to try that lava stone again. Now we're going to have something that connects up the top here. And how that plays into the room, I'm not sure, but let's get that in place. A little bit, at least. So, bare minimum, there's going to be like a ring of basalt around it. Wow, the server is... I'll tell you what, let's do Forge TPS again, because it seems to be hiccup. Oh, what? We're down to six! Down to six again. Yeah, something's definitely going wrong. Uh, Zesty Berry says, Asuma, love your YouTube series. Finally have time to catch you on Twitch. Work and life getting in the way, etc. Well, welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for the nice message as well. I'm glad you like all the uh, YouTube videos. We're going to we're gonna go and run Opus again, because the server is starting to hiccup. I can feel it. And then, and then you saw there, 6 TPS. No good at all. No good at all, Laro. Right. So this is, this is, oh, that right there is actually not in line with the wall, which is a thing. Oh, I think the game's about to crash. No, it just stopped. Weird. <laughs> Let's check on Opus then. Yep, yeah, we've got a leaky chunk somewhere. Let's go over there. Let's teleport. And let's go into game mode one. Not game, not game. What? Hey, I was typing. What? Game? What's it doing? It's freaking out. <laughs> game mode one already, right. So somewhere down here, we're going to find something that's broken. Now, I don't see a, an elevator to get down anywhere, which is weird. Let's F3A this. Ah, what about this? Is that it? That looks like an elevator. Bam, down we go. I see you. Yes, you do. <laughs> wow, that is something. Cool, that's kind of trippy. And then all the way down here. At bedrock, do we find it? No. Where is the lag coming from? Crazy looking floor here. I cannot find it. We need game mode free so we can uh, like get to stuff easy, just go through the floors and whatnot. Okay, so maybe it was up in this area. What is that floor? Reed. Oh. It's a nice block, isn't it? Wow, that's pretty cool. Way to do that. <laughs> Oh, that's Zero Sugar's base, says Pony Butts. Aha! Have you been here before? Do you know where the lag might be? Is it down here? See, somewhere in this base there'll be those sieves. And they'll be breaking everything. Is that all we find the uh, chunk loader and destroy? Oh, here you go. Look at that. There's the lag. Right, so this thing just started going haywire while we were streaming. Right, and I didn't even know how to turn this one off. <laughs> See if there's a chunk loader up top. Brian says, what are you playing? We're playing on the Assuminati server. And uh, is there a chunk loader up here? It doesn't look like it. Got to find a chunk loader so that thing's not causing lag. Oh, there was this area. We never looked around here, did we? This looks a little bit more furbished. Wow, that is colourful. That is bright and colourful right there. There you go, Saber saying lag gone. X, what are you doing now? We're we're trying to fix lag on the server. This is a cool hallway. A bunch of Z-tones blocks. And nether brick from chisel. Right, well that looks like the way out of here. No sign of a chunk loader. I guess if we get issues we'll come back here and try and fix it again. Oh. Let's load that up. We're going over this way. Okay, we're doing another giveaway, by the way. If you want a chance at winning uh, Arang's latest album, The Land of Five Seasons, type the keyword five um, with, with a capital, capital F, five in chat. Only need to type it once and you'll have a shot of winning. Okay, um, need to go back to game mode zero, don't we? Right, now do those new wings we've got allow us to fly? Yes, they do, nice and easy, without us having to mess around. 3A, there we go, reload. Okay, 
Okay, so how are we going to do this over here? I don't want to mirror that, but it's kind of tempting. I think maybe we should wait until more of this room over here is built, and then it can maybe not be a flat wall. It can be something a little bit different. So how are we going to pull that off? I think we've got to dig away more stuff over here next. Um, let's focus on this far wall. Get rid of all of this. Start building this over the back. Actually, I've got a pretty good idea for what we're going to do over here. Yes, I've got a very good idea. Also, Hypno's here in chat. Hello, buddy. How's it going? Bam. We're playing some modded. Asuma was slain by Evilus. Well, what's going on there? Because I wasn't killed by... What's going on here? And why is that suspended? Now, why does it also tell us there's nothing here? Ugh. <laughs> That's not good. What is going on up there? Let's go outside and have a look. That's weird. Hypno says, hi X, just hanging out, still drinking coffee, awesome. Ooh, there we go, to the top. Why was there iron? Why is that there? Come on. Wait, it's the wrong... Who put all the trees on top of my base? <laughs> on, to on top of my base, on top of Hypno's base, sorry. <laughs> oh, he is here watching. Yeah, this is all based on uh, something Hypno did in... in so, yeah. All credit to Hypno. Forget about the uh, the Mayans and... And the Aztecs. It's his original idea. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just joking. Oh, I love this song, by the way. This one's a great song. Alright, I don't know what we're going to do about that now. Because <laughs> there's iron everywhere. Uh, but I do have an idea what I want to do for that wall. So which material should we go for? I reckon a bit more flint might look alright, but we've used that up over on this side. These bits are being used for the ceiling. So it's probably just going to be more stone bricks, which I don't think we should really be too fussed about using um, as they fit in extremely well. So, another one of our little chests here. Oh, now loads of items are flying in my face, which I don't like. And there we go. They're seared bricks. They're not... And we've got a noise in my ear here. We'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, oh my god, just so much rubbish in my inventory 24-7. Yeah, we're going to have to craft some more of those then if we're going to do some building with them. I think they're the ones we've been using elsewhere. We also already had some, actually. And I just made some more. Let's check. Yes, there were seared bricks. Anyway, got a new subscriber here on the channel. It is Rocky Avalon. I like the name, Rocky Avalon. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Really do appreciate the support. I hope you have a great, great time in today's stream. Here's your sword waggle. And... Uh, and yeah, check out in chat for the link to the Discord app. If you didn't know, there's Saber hanging out. Um, oh, okay, all of that's flying over to me. If you didn't know, uh, Avalon is the name of our first base on Hermitcraft. So I'm quite fond of that name. Okay, and then that needs filling it. Do you know what? I can't be bothered to fill it in. <laughs> Cannot be bothered. Right, and then we'll put that there and get rid of the iron. So that's our border. Right, oh! Oh, okay. I was about to say, apparently we can fly through that without taking damage, but there you go. Is it me or are we just lagging like crazy? What's going on again? We're, we're at 20, but the server's just not having a good time today, is it? Alright, so somewhere over here is where we're going to have our uh, a, a bunch more smeltery. So we've got a big one on this side, and then we're going to have a bunch of small ones over here. So we need some glass for the fronts. Seragor said, X got the name right the first time. That's new. It is new. <laughs> that very rarely happens. Right, we need the tanks. Yeah, that's right. Let's grab those. A tank is all we need. I'll tell you what this room does need. It needs little details like bits and bobs that are uh, just here. Elsa, what happened to this red? Oh, it does go under there. It just doesn't go across that bit. Yeah, bits and bobs that are... Uh, how do you say, just adding details to a room, you know, little desks and things like that. Right, so how do we do it over here? We've got our... Oh, no, no, they're not tanks, they're windows. Maybe we'll have tanks over here, though, as well. So how do we make seared windows? Uh, we've got the winners for the second giveaway, by the way. Uh, 
The winners are Fidoki, Jerome45, Trail underscore Blazer underscore, and Revolve Plays One. So all of you check your Twitch inboxes to uh, win a copy of the Land of Five Seasons. And again, it's Fidoki, Jerome45, Trail Blazer, and Revolver Plays One. So congratulations for winning. Right, where is. Do we even have. <laughs> uh, what we search. Where's my search bar gone? Ah, oh, this game. This mod pack. What's going on? Why. Why no NEI? <laughs> what did I do? Uh, mod options. Where's mod options? Right, that's helpful. Oh, uh, maybe try to re login. That might work. Oh, come on. That's a joke. Right, let's restart the game. Press O, says Looney Boy. Thank you, we'll try that. What I want to know is why did it turn off? Okay, the game's slowly loading. And now it's lagging. <laughs> Well, there we go. Well, this is taking its sweet time. <laughs> it turned off when you were having issues with the chat closing itself. Ah, okay. Thanks, Pony Butts. Matt Pat says delete System 32 to fix. Sure thing, buddy. Let me just go delete old System 32. AJ says, uh, Asuma uses Windows confirmed. Uh, Matt, Matt just says, do you know APR? I do know APR. I do indeed know APR. Uh, o is the button. Oh, there it is. So what are we looking for? It was something glass. Seared glass? Do I see that? Well, there's 14 different types of glass here. Maybe we should have put seared first. Okay, so we just need some glass and bricks. And my inventory's full of rubbish again. Jacko Dragon says, I once got warned on a forum for saying delete system 32. Rightly so, like it's it's all fun and games if you know what it means, but if someone doesn't and they take what you say seriously, then you might just ruin their day. <laughs> or or even worse. You know, something really like they might Yeah, you know, their livelihood might depend on that. Um, I know where it is. Yeah, their livelihood might depend on it, you know? And then and then they've gone and destroyed their PC. Uh, anyway, right. We know... Oh, I've got to get the seared bricks. <laughs> Which are down below. I just got here. What are you doing, says uh, SeaWiz. We are trying to build, believe it or not, but having the worst of luck... Getting it going, getting a groove going here. Okay, that'll do. We'll take those, we'll leave those behind. Twelve, is that all we got to work with? Great. Should have got some more. Right, what we'll do is we'll put the tanks at the bottom. And I think we need something to break it up as well. Hey, maybe more of those blocks. So, how tall do I want this to be? About three blocks tall. So, one can go here. Actually, no, one can go right there. Yeah, that seems about right. So we'll have a strip of that material. Um, then we're going to have our bricks with a tank and glass going up to about there. Right, and then we'll have... Hmm. Now they have to share a wall. Oh, I know. Then we'll have the thing... And then it'll be one, two, right, right. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. And I think this will look alright. How much room does it give us for this bit over here? Not a ton. We'll probably come up to somewhere over here then. Um, so, again, one, two. Just place them every other. So it would stop there. Just kind of in line with that. So we can probably oh, assume as much. And I'm on fire. Looney Boy says, why can't I join? Is it for subs only? It's for patrons. Um, information is on the screen if 
you're interested in becoming a patron. Ponybot says, X, what do you think of having like a pretty hall dedicated to patrons at your base? Ponybots, let's do it. That sounds like a great idea. I'm putting you in charge of the project. Don't fail me, Ponybots. Don't fail me now. I'm joking, of course. <laughs> I'm just being a little bit funny. There's the perfect place for it down here. Um, we have the Hall of Armour and Creepers over there, apparently. Now, why did... Th what the fudge is that noise? <laughs> Can you hear that? It's like a slime's having a hissy fit somewhere. Right. Then there's going to be a weaponry over here, and now there can be a hall of Patreons on the other side. How about that? God, that was a weird sound down there. The game has just... Oh, gone the wrong way. Been so funky today. Uh, Chim Chimisty says, Hey, music is cool. If you like it, the name is Orang. Do a little search. Check it out. Uh, we are listening to... Which album is this one from? I think it's within... The Lands of My Imagination, or is it Kingdom of Orang? It's Kingdom of Orang. So we've been listening to the new record, now we're listening to one of the older ones. Right, let's find that lovely texture that um, we had. I think I know where I put that one. I think I put it in this chest. Oh, maybe I didn't. <laughs> uh, but I think it's a factory block. Which will be laggy. Okay, um, and then we just have it. Now, how have we done it over there? Have we hidden? No, we haven't hidden the bottom and top. Okay, so it will just do that. And same over here. And it will go all the way up into this gap. Right. Now, all of this is to go. I'll do just fine. X, can you please build a banana to mark my first ever stream on Twitch? I'm not going to build a banana. I'm not the sort to build those kind of builds. <laughs> We're just going to continue working here in the base. Right. Ugh. <laughs> Stay away from that. Ah, now this isn't going to go into the slope like the other ones do. Which means it looks a little... Oh, what's that about? Means it gets to look a little bit different. No, don't do that. <sighs> this server. <laughs> okay, there we go. Asuma, why do you say the username before the message? Says MCC Crafter TV. I don't. I never do that. I always say it after. I just did it right then. I'm I'm trolling, of course. I I either say it before or after. Most of the time I say before. And the reason, the answer should be in the question. So you know, you know, like. So you hear the name of who asks the question. <laughs> Hypno says put a banana in your ear. Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean that I I mean if I put a banana in my ear, I think that would be pretty painful, right? <laughs> I don't think I want a banana in my ear. No thanks. Now if you peeled it first, it might be a little bit more squishy. You might be able to squeeze it in. That might not be so painful, but it still sounds horrible. <laughs> Uh, block the Molten Iron X. Didn't we do that? Oh yeah, we've got that bit hanging over there. I don't even know what to do with that at the moment. It's just there doing its thing. Um, so somewhere over here is where the end actually might be, now that I think about it. Oh yeah, we've also got that bit on that side hanging out. Uh, we'll, we'll block it off. Why not? So, there, there, there and there. Right, and that should get rid of a lot of it. Okay, so we're going to have our mini tanks over here. Um, and they're all going to be free high, I reckon. And just the three of them. Yeah, free high for each. CJ9999 says, Hey X, how are you today? I'm good, thanks for asking. I've been... Uh, oh, what are you doing there? I've been enjoying playing the Asuminari. But I've forgotten how long modded takes to play. This is just <laughs> forever back and forth trying to get materials and stuff. There we go. You should use the molten metal to make a lava fall, says Lee Spork. We've kind of already done that. We've got a little contained bit of something or other going on over there. 
Right, so that's going to be that wall, and it looks alright. It needs a bit of illumination, I think, so somewhere on here we've got to put some lights. I'm not sure how we're going to pull that off. Yikes, let's get rid of that. What's this he's saying in chat? X probably wants to do that all himself. Uh, if I do the patron hall, I'd have to know who they all are. I I want I really just want to finish the base at the moment. The plan is to get it done and move on to a different project. I want to do some more community driven stuff like where we do something with everyone involved by default. Um, and that's the plan. And yeah, I reckon it should be doable because we experimented a while ago with doing like patron videos where I just uh, update the patrons on what's going on and we can do that to communicate projects. If we all want to do a project together, it could be relatively easy to communicate. Now I'm going to say this right now, I think that's going to look better if that's not the corner of the room and there's a wall there. So if we're going to continue what we're doing, um, then we're going to have these blocks going back like this, which throws them off from this bit over here a little bit, but do you know what, I'm not going to fuss or worry about that. Um, so I don't know what we're going to fill this in with here. Also do we really want that flowing out like so? I like the way it all flows down, but it flows out because it's got nowhere to go. Um, if we were to put a window in front of it... Now, why would I put my dark glass away from earlier, eh? <laughs> so derpy. Oh. Uh, Benjineer says, Hey X, I can't open your website via a proxy. If you're using a public proxy, it's probably just... like Public proxies are pretty lousy, so it's probably the proxy, not the website. Okay, uh, if you're using a private one then I have no idea why. <laughs> Unless Mousy's done something clever. But then again, like, how do you prevent, like, how do you detect someone using a proxy? I mean, I bet there's probably a way, but it's just an IP address visiting a website, surely. You'd have to have it on some sort of list that says it's a known proxy. Okay, if we put those in there, we get to keep our little bit of iron at the top, which looks cool. But, is that iron going to be in this space over here? That's what I really want to know. Right, so we need two more buckets of iron. Now, I had a bucket. Where did it go? Right, we've lost another bucket. Amazing. Uh, let's go grab a little bit of iron from there. Cheeky bit of iron. Put it back there. Get another one. Right, we're going to be doing the final giveaway for Orang's album in uh, in about 10 minutes. If you like the music that you've heard in this stream, of course, search the name Orang. Go check him out. Really cool music. Independent guy as well. Doing the uh, the DIY way of things, which is cool. Uh, Seragor says, This music is reminding me of old Nintendo games, especially Secret of the Man, Mana and Zelda in the Villages. It's very much linked to music like that. Um, yeah, very much on a similar wavelength, so I'm not surprised that it reminds you of that. Um, also, check out Azuku if you like that kind of music, because this is very much a bit more electronic in, in that vein as well. Alright, all of this is going to go. Okay, and uh, let's continue with this roof pattern we got. So what have we got going on? All of the dark stone tiles are needed now. The tiles... Oh, is that it? And that one, I think. Right, so that's tile. That comes over here. <sighs> now it doesn't want to place there. <laughs> and then just continue this pattern in this space. Right, now I need to put some dirt back up there. That'll do just fine, just so we can't see this. Okay, and then the lamps are going to be here. That's correct. Now we've got the top... Right, we're missing one of them again. What's the one that we're missing? That one, decorative dark stone. They're going to go in those other gaps. Why does it do that so often? Place a block and it just disappears immediately. Right, and that's the one that we don't want. Is This one just must be regular dark stone. Do we have any of that? They all look the same to my eyes. <laughs> Let's go get some dark stone from somewhere. 
Uh, po Polsky Sled says, actually heard a noise in your ear. Did I? I got no new notifications. So maybe not. Darkstone. There we go. We've got a little bit of it left. Oh, I just spot the wool and clay as well that I was looking for earlier. Typical. And there it is, disappearing again. Okay, so that looks really good. Yep, all of that's awesome. Now this bit here, where's our polished basalt? I want to look a fair bit different. I want this. Ugh, not that. What's stopping me there? I want this bit to be like a highlighted square, I reckon. In the corner, maybe. Actually, it might look a little bit odd. Uh, someone, at, someone else. Oh, Polsky again says, "I think you missed a noise in your ear." I haven't got any new notifications, so it shouldn't be so. X, when is the next UHC with 150 people coming out? Um, we haven't, we haven't scheduled it yet, so we don't know when it will be. Right, for the floor down here, we could put some dark stone tiles, although we've been mainly using them on the ceiling. Uh, what else have we gone for? We've gone for a little bit of it here with lighting. That was with a free wide gap. We could continue that actually and put that in over here as well. I have to see if I can remember how we did that. So, oops, didn't want to destroy that one actually. Which was that block there. Let's put that back. Um, so, it was, let's see, tinted glass 15. What is our tinted glass on? 15 as well. Then, how many blocks down is that? Oh, we never finished this. It's like all the way down here, just to provide a tiny little bit of light. Um, that's at 52. Okay, so if we go down to the same bit. It'd be one right there. Yep, something like that. Cool. Uh, Funky Mon Monkin says, "How do you how do you fly?" We've got two different flight things. There's flight items in the game. We got both of them. Uh, one is called the Belt of Flight, and the other is an Angel Ring. Okay, there we go. Oh no! Accidentally destroyed that. The delay in the chat is massive. I wrote a message five minutes ago and X reads it about ten seconds ago. Actually, Polsky, it's because you kept putting the same message over and over again. I saw it. I saw it several times. <laughs> okay. Um, so what have we done? We've got. Oh, we've just gone for basic dark stone all the way around by the looks of it. So we've got dark stone. To, where's our dark stone at? It's so difficult to figure it. Yeah, it all looks the same. Dark stone tile. I mean, we had dark stone a moment ago. We were using it. Where is it? <laughs> there. No, that's tile again. Oh, maybe we ran out of it. Tommy Lee says I'm watching this at 4:39 a.m. That is. Are you up early or are you up late? <laughs> I don't even know. That's a crazy time. All right, we're not used those in a while. We probably won't be. So let's take some dark stone. And uh, let's put all of this in place. Now I can't, I'm right. <laughs> I don't even know what those are or how they. Oh, what is it doing? Man, this server's so cranky. <laughs> it really is just so temperamental. Right, put those there. Good. Dark stone here. Great. Right, and then we'll have a little bit of something to eat over here. <laughs> okay, the last giveaway is happening, by the way. Type Seasons in chat with a capital S if you want a chance at winning. Um, let's get in here and let's finish this bit off and then do the one on the other side as well. Because we never actually finished that, did we? Details. Too many details. Just going crazy with them, really. 
Okay, so it's just dark stone all the way down. <sighs> go away, come back. <laughs> go away, come back. Yep, so seasons in chat. If you put a question mark at the end of it, it doesn't count. Just seasons without a question mark. And uh, you'll have an opportunity at winning a copy of the latest album. From Irang. It's so finicky, just from a little distance. It doesn't want to place them down sometimes. Uh, what is going on here? Right, now that's a different block. <laughs> Let's get the right one. There we go. Giveaway's still going on. I'll let you know when it stops. Now some gravel to be removed. Oh, and apparently gravel floats. So that's completely normal. Alright. Giveaway's still going on. Man, this is tedious. <laughs> Why are you building hollow pillars? Good question. I can't remember. This is the way we set up the lighting. <laughs> and it was so that the light in the area above stays gloomy. Because the whole build is built um, with dark, like a dark mood in mind. So that's why uh, we're doing all of this silliness. And there it is again. The, the refusal to be placed. <laughs> Right, looking good. Hey X, I made your head using the 3D pin printer I built on Plot World, says Benjamin. That sounds fantastic. I have to come on and see that sometime. A 3D printer. I remember when AC Tennis done that on uh, on Minecraft, and it blew up. It's a cool video. That guy done a lot of really cool stuff. Okay. And that is going to be the last of it, I think. Oh, and we're one block. Are we actually one block short of dark? Are you kidding me? <laughs> we are actually short. Oh, of course we would be. Why would we not? We're short by one block. And we're probably that that's probably the last of the dark stone as well. No, fortunately it's a little bit here. Okay, nope, nothing in there. Which one is it? This one? Where was it? Nope. There it is. Okay, and then we put the glass in at the top. Uh there's cobble here. Why is there a cobble? That's odd. Huh. How weird. That was a little bit more to do then. And there it is again, the fussiness. Okay, and then put all the glass at the top. Hey Asuma, do you have a server for your mob pack? that the community can play on. Yep, this one right here. That's what we've been playing on all along. Oh, is it me or is it is it filled up all the way? I didn't realise. It's filled up all the way. Let's do just that then. That's why it looks so cool, because it's all dark. Oh, well, that bit isn't one of them. When do you stream, says Gaming 15 Boys. I stream every other day. If it's a weekend, I'll stream in the morning, if not in the evening. Around this kind of time. There we go. Probably going to run out of these, aren't we? Hey X, do you have a PlayStation 3? I do, and it's broken. <laughs> I uh, I got it repaired to play GTA. 
I think I played GTA with it and then after it broke. Right, we know what we're doing here. Same thing again. We're going to run out of Darkstone. I'll tell you what, I'll probably do that next time because that's kind of boring. Uh, we also need to sort out the lights on here. Let's uh, let's choose all the torches because that would be a good way to get some alternative lights. And there's just junk all over the place. Okay, so what have we got? Mm, nothing that looks too suited to this place except for these two. They're probably the best we're going to get. So I reckon... Might be able to get away with one there and there. Actually, I think they should be higher up, to be fair. I've only got the two. And now we've got these stupid blocks flying around. Give me the torch back. There it is. Cool, that keeps it nice and moody. Right, now it's telling me I've got two in my hand. I just placed one over here. <laughs> What's going on with that? Now this place is really dark, um, but we'll leave that be for now. Okay, so the uh, the final giveaway has been done. The winners are Draver10, Kerr102, uh, Than Thanasisialap, <laughs> and Not So Not So. So again, Draver10, Kerr102. Thanisilapi, oh, I can't even say that name, <laughs> and not so, not so. So check your inboxes, and that's the final giveaway today. So congratulations to all of the winners. Enjoy your copy of the game, uh, the game, sorry, the the album. And uh, yeah, that'll be in your inbox for you. Cool. All right. Um, what block am I looking for now? The one I can't find. Everyone is now saying GG in chat. GG indeed. Grats. Grats are in order. Okay. Uh, what did I come over here for? Oh, I know which one it is. It is that block right there. Seared stone. This is just going to go all the way around. Uh, Mind King Nick says just missed the giveaway. That's unfortunate, buddy. That is unfortunate. Not much we can do about that now. And that's the other thing. I don't I don't announce when I'm doing a giveaway usually. So if there is one, it just it just happens. I get some codes for something, and then next time I stream, do a giveaway. Okay. X, are you going to do any more cycling vlogs? I've said it time and time again, um, Taj, that if I go somewhere interesting, then I'll then I'll film it. But I haven't been any anywhere interesting enough, in my opinion, to do that. Oh no, not you! Why are you there? Right, let's finish these slopes on this side since we're having that go all the way around, and we want two more, so we have to go back and grab some. X, are you going to do Would You Rather soon? Well, I don't understand that question, the war warrior. Ooh, wait, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, slopes. Slopes are going to be in here. One slope, so we've got to make more. Which means we need those and sticks. Let's put the dark glass back in there. Once again, let's empty out all of this rubbish that we keep accumulating. Um, sticks we'll get from some wood. Right, that gave me a stack. That's more than enough. How many are we going to need? I think you... No, no, no. I've done that wrong. You have three like that. Uh, I don't know how many sticks this makes. I'm just guessing. Right, well, that's, that's enough. <laughs> For what we want. I'm going to chuck those away. Would you rather is a game X says Stu Miles. All right, thanks for letting me know. Um, I've not heard of that game, and I have no idea what it's about, so no comment. What 
What's the dual work table from, says Lee Spork? It is from this mod here, Ganny Surface, and you can get a portable one as well. Um, what did it say you got to press? P? So you can just craft like from your inventory, which is pretty cool. Smonerman says, what is your favourite genre of games? Probably sandbox. Sandbox games. Okay. Uh, let's chuck all of these in. And actually, we, we can basically finish the whole thing now, because all we've got to do is put in the flint. And, oh yeah, we also need the glass, which I, of course, got rid of. Because that was a smart idea. Right, that's that. Uh, the glass goes on the front bit and in front of it... Oh! Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's just lots of it, basically. Lots of this stuff. Bang. It's a nice texture. It's basically emerald, but... dark. Oh, and my game crashed! Without a message or anything. Just bam, disappeared. That's crazy. That is crazy. Right, game's loading back up again. Uh, Murray says, is the Assuminati server patron or public? It's patron. X, what are you working on in Scrap Mechanic? Uh, funny munchkins, I'm working on something for multiplayer. I won't say what though, because I like to surprise you all. E Rip says, rest in peace, Assumes game. It's gone. It's gone forever. It's been buried in the ground. If you weren't a YouTuber, what will you do? I'd probably be making music like I was before. And is it me or did the music stop? Which you shouldn't have done. It's just being it's just being a bit silent. <laughs> Alright, we're back. We're back. We're here. Welcome back, says everyone. Thank you. Let's chuck all of these in place. Oh, is that right? It's a gap of two at the top. That doesn't look good. Let's get rid of that. I've done that wrong then, haven't I? <laughs> Not sure how that happened. Apparently there's like the equivalent of Hermit Frills on the server. If anyone online can show me that, I'd love to see it. Um, because I want to get involved in that. That might be like one of the next projects we do. Okay, so for this ceiling, where's my basalt at? I think we've got to make some more polished basalt. What's the three blocks across? So... One, two, three, and then bring all of that back. All the way over here. And, yep, we'll do something with that over on that side as well. Oh, we need to have some storage tanks on this side. That's what we want. A big wall of storage tanks will look real cool. Uh, we've still got this ceiling bit to do. I just realised that my chat was hidden. <laughs> X, what mod would you love to add in your mod pack? Uh, Dragonian Wolf, I'd like to add... Tons of stuff, really, but unfortunately at the moment, can't really add stuff uh, in 1.10 because the mods aren't being updated. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not, but let's say we did that. What are we going to put in the middle here? Hey, we might be able to have something... No, we won't do that. <laughs> We're not going to do some terraforming. Let's put that back. Put something interesting here. Oh, what are we saying? We have a theme park, the arcade, right? I want to go hunt for that. This is a spawn. I haven't seen it. We'll head over to spawn and try and find uh, pony butts in a bit. Let's think about what we could put up here. Lava stone probably wouldn't look too great. Do you know what? I don't really see too much to fit into that space other than more basalt, really. So let's fill it in with polished basalt. Just get this bit tidied up. Yeah, it looks alright. Fills in a gap, doesn't it? That's all it does, pretty much. Alright, by the way, that thing shouldn't really be there. Just terraforming outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. Johnny left us that. Bam, there it goes, right. Looking pretty good. Let's do that d dark glass before we forget. We should also really move these things out of the way. They're right at the entrance. Okay. 
Here's our tinted glass. Basalt always fits, says Dinosaur Saw. <laughs> Di wait, Dinosaurus Saw. That's an awesome username. When is your next stream? Ben Jake, it'll be Sunday morning or possibly tomorrow morning if I want to do an extra one. Which I kind of do, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. There we go, so that's all been done. And you know what, I was going to say put the tanks on that side. I think what we might do is put the tanks on this side over here. I like the sound of that. In fact, I want to do that like right now so I don't forget. Let's think about what's back there. I think there's a fair bit of space. Oh no, there's also that room. So we don't have a we don't have a world of space, but what we could do is actually I've got quite a cool idea right now. If we if we bring all this out over here and then we build like a platform off the side at this height. We can put some steps to get up to it somewhere, but it could go round into that back area and there's plenty of space there for a bunch of tanks to be higher up. So this would essentially go all the way across here. And then all of this stuff. Is that seared stone? That is no, that's basalt. Seared stone I'm like leaning in looking at my computer. Is it me or do we just seem to run out of seared stone constantly? I don't see it. Let's go get some more. <laughs> Wrong chest. Seared stone. There we go. X, you should play SimCity or City Skylines. Uh, Funny Monkins, I will never play SimCity or an EA game again, most likely. I despise that game. <laughs> I think uh, I think the way it was launched was inexcusable. Uh, City Skylines, however, great game. By uh, a great company. Let's. No, not that one. <laughs> Let's sort this out then. So, do we want to have that lighting again? Probably not. I'm not sure what we'll do there. But let's say this comes all the way around like that. Or maybe even just to make it not so even, we have it displaced a little. Maybe here's where we have our staircase to get up. Right, so by the way, what we're doing is now that I've got a bit inspired as to how the rest of this room is going to work out, really just want to throw this down and get the shape out there so we don't forget it. Um, so we'll have the wall go across that side and then it will come back across here as well. So all of this is going to be wall going all the way over there. Like that. Up here. Across there. And all of this as well needs to go. Right, so now all of this on the side here can be like a platform of sorts somewhere. It'll start somewhere and it'll be like a extended part of the room to get up onto. Um, so, we just need some steps. But I really don't have the materials to build the steps at the moment. So, let's just sort of mock up where they'll be. They'll be free wide, so they'll start about here. there'll be something like that. So that fits nicely into that space. A little steppy up onto this bit and then this platform will go, like it'll be a bit deeper and it'll go around the side here as well. I reckon that'll look pretty cool. What do y'all think of that then? Um, I just had another idea that I want to chuck in here while we're at it. So next time we come back to this we might go, yeah that looks cool and keep it. I reckon for lighting that's going to look pretty cool. We're going to put some glass in front of that to mute it a little bit. Now we could go for a smaller one here as well but I think not. I think it won't fit. Okay, where's the glass? X, have you played Banished? Yes, I put a, a fair bit of time into that game found it pretty infuriating but it was fun as well. I just I, it's one of those games where I couldn't like suss out the balance. I'd always get like a certain point to the game and it would just fall apart. Okay. Um 
that's good. It lines up nicely with that corner, so we can leave all of that lava stone in. That's going to look great, I reckon. Um, so let's let's take a step back, look at the room. You know, we've got these crazy shapes on this side. Then over here, we'll have more opportunity to do some cool building. I like it. How long have you streamed? We've streamed for an hour and 50 minutes so far. And I'm not done yet. I want to get some more bits and bobs done on here. It took me a while to find my groove with this room. But I think, uh, again, next episode, tons of stuff to do. Well, well next episode, next live stream, we're, we're going to know what we'll be doing. Let's chuck those things away. Um, oh, no, you're not basalt. You're the other type. Which is that one, I think. No, it's not. <laughs> it is that one. Darkstone tile, there we go. So that's going to come all the way over there. And it's probably going to go around this bit here as well. Alright, looking good. Lots to do. Lots to be done. Uh, ben has been asking, do I have a favourite Beatles song? I don't have a favourite. Uh, actually, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Uh, it's more, it's like a childhood favourite. Uh, we, all, we all live in a yellow submarine. I loved that song when I was a kid. I thought that song was amazing. So that would that would have to be my favourite. Okay, uh, let's keep this going across as well. Because it sort of rests out in front of uh, this. And then it could perhaps give that area some more de depth. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's look at what's going on here. This part of the roof is raised up. It's going to drop back down like we do there, and then there's going to be something underneath it. So, what I think we need is to just, right, maybe come out at that height, so we come out over here. That'll probably give the whole overhang thing a much better look. Let's knock all this back. So, whatever's below that, I don't know, it might look different. Um, then going across to here somewhere, we could do the iron thing again and have loads of iron behind... Uh, behind all of that. And it'll make that bit look really cool, I reckon. Excellent. Uh, Bill says, what genre of music do you listen to, X? My favourite genres of music would be black metal, hip-hop, classical, and beyond that, I love just all sorts of stuff, really. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. I love so much music. I was listening to a fair bit of uh, like ethereal Dream pop and shoegazing stuff today, showgazing even. I think that's how you say it, showgaze. If you go to my blog though, um, assumer.blogspot.com, you can find out about all the music I listen to. I write about it like every couple of days. I like write a little article on what I've been listening to. Today I wrote about Dead Can Dance, Australian duo that do neoclassical music. Uh, we need light over here, is what I'm thinking. This bit is so gloomy. Maybe. Maybe up here we have some light. Is that going to be enough for down below? Probably not. Maybe it could be hanging. Maybe we can make some hanging lights. What's the occasional bing, says Boomer? It's when someone follows. So, uh, if you haven't followed, then do that. Hit that follow button. Get notified of when I go live. And get an occasional bing in your ear. <laughs> if you can hear it in the background. That's what the occasional bing is. Oh, um, right. We could use those for lights, but we're not going to. Um, hanging lights. I mean, I'm thinking glowstone on fence posts, but surely... Oh, we could, we could cut the fence post into a different type of block. Sorry, the fence post, the uh, glowstone. And there's loads of cool textures here. We could... Oh, we could do so much. It's also Carpenter's Barrier, which... What's that look like? Because we could just put glowstone on that and give it a different texture. On its own, it's kind of perfect, yeah. Let's try that then. We've not used this before, so it's a good exercise. Uh, it means we need some glowstone dust, though. And we've got two there. We'll just grab some from over here. And look, can you hear all those occasional bings in my ear? That's all you people click and follow. Thanks for doing that. I appreciate it. Oh, that's one. Uh, we're going to need more than one, I'm pretty sure. And that can go away. There we go. Right, uh, so we've pretty much got everything we need now. 
Uh, Funny Munchkin says, Hey X, what's your favourite band? I've got a few, but you know what? Dimmu Borgir are my all-time favourite band. They're a band from Norway. Uh, behind them I'd say Metallica and uh, and Rollins band. And there's more. I You know, like I, I like music so much, it's just... I almost feel like I'm offending all the other artists <laughs> that I also like if I don't mention them because I like a lot of stuff, believe me, a lot of different stuff. Um, that lines up perfectly! Amazing, okay. X, do you have a favourite black metal band? I played drums and screamed for a black metal band for a while. That's awesome, Ian Ballasy. Scream for a black metal band, indeed. Um, yeah, yeah, I just said Dim Dimmu Bugir are my favourite. They, uh, they mix like uh, symphonic sounds with the traditional black metal sound although to be fair they also incorporate a lot of like heavy metal thrash metal sort of style to it as well uh, I just really love like the whole combination okay uh, Bakken also wants to know what they're called Dimmu Borgir it's D-I-M-M-U-B-O-R-G-I-R and it sounds weird when you say it I know um, so these have got to hang down a fair bit actually let's hang them down by three and that's going to look kind of odd over in this corner of the room, isn't it? Just having this weird bit hanging down. Uh, Charles Aethon wants to know what the plans are for the next Scrap Mechanic video. It's going to be something multiplayer, is what I'm going for. At the moment, I am struggling to like juggle everything. Minecraft, Hermitcraft, Scrap Mechanic, <laughs> and doing a bit of streaming. The streaming's the easy bit. Okay, let's keep plopping these down. Plop, plop, plop. <laughs> Do you like tacos, says uh, Cray, Cray Moon. If you mean the food, I, I have had tacos on occasions. They're alright. I like enchiladas. That's my favourite um, food. Right, let's put some glowstone on these to illuminate them. And then let's step back and say, hey, what do we think about that? That's provided just about the right amount of light, I'd say. It's very obvious where it's coming from at the moment as well. When is the Scrap Mechanic video going out? Funny Munchkins? No idea, really. What's X's favourite cu cuisine? Fancy word there. Ian Ballsy says, love it. Great band all around. I love doing with gear. Septic Flesh and Vesanea probably are my top black metal. I've seen uh, Septic Flesh live, I believe. And if I remember correctly, they have a record. I'm going to look it up because Winamp is open. Let's have a look. Septic Flesh... Yes, they have a record. Where is it? Is it them? Oh! The Eldest Cosmonaut. It's like a five-track EP that's very like difficult to get hold of. And it's got an amazing uh, instrumental track on there. No guitars, no screaming, no nothing. It's a... Uh, it's a... Like a classical piece. And I absolutely adore it. It's, it's so brilliant. And it's just like this off track on an obscure EP for an obscure band and like the world will never hear it. <laughs> Maybe I should put that on my list of songs to play pre-stream. That's a good idea. That, if that, that's a fantastic idea. I should do that. Um, Seragor says that if I like that band I'd like Blind Guardian. I, I like Blind Guardian but I've never really listened to them too much. They're not the same style of metal. Uh, if you don't listen to metal, that probably you'll probably be like, what? Uh, but no, they're not the same style of metal, believe it or not. Now that looks cool. <laughs> I like that. We're going to go with that. Oh, except the bottom looks a bit funky, but whatever. Or, or maybe, maybe we'll go with... Oh, the lava stone could look good too. Let's try a couple of different things here. So we've got that option. That looks great. That looks really different. And I kind of like it. Oh, it looks like a visual glitch, actually. Yeah, it definitely is a visual glitch. I love this Arang album. Thanks, says uh, Revolve Plays. No problem, buddy. I mean, Arang gave me the codes. I'm more than happy to share them. I think this music is great. X, you should listen to Frog Leech Studio on YouTube. Uh, the Witch Doctor, feel free to tweet me any music. I listen to... I give everything a listen, you know. What? We can do that? <laughs> All right. What else do you do? What else do you do? Oh! That's mental! So we can go like down to... St oh, check it out! <laughs> check it out! We are doing that. 
Oh, I'm lear learning every day, basically. Bam! I feel so pro now. I learnt, I learnt something amazing. Getting my details on. I reckon we should make those textures on those ones. X, are you planning on going to any events? Uh, Crate, Moon, I've got. Um, I'm doing a few things with friends, and uh, and going to concerts. That's usually what I do. I love going to concerts. I saw uh, Slipknot the other day. It was absolutely amazing. They're always amazing. That band. They always get you riled up, and they always put on a really great show. That being said, I have I have seen them play like with a little less enthusiasm on occasions. Like on one occasion, I didn't think they were that great, but other than that, they've been nothing but brilliant live. Now that definitely looks a little bit better with that texture. Right, and oh, these things, man, they can get lost. Oh, they're staying there, aren't they? Right, so we're gonna go tile at this height, and then the other ones above. Uh, let's also pop back to this thing so we can. I think we have to shift click it. Now that got rid of the glowstone as well. Right. That's something to note. Hi, we've got a we've got T Monkey T over here hanging out watching us. And also map as well. Hey guys. Back and says, I love Slipknot, me too. <laughs> Next, have you ever played Terraria? Uh Neo Wuhuk? I can't say your name. Person person with name I can't say. Uh, yes, and you can see it on my second channel because we did some live streams, believe it or not, on that, on that same thing. Oh, he's showing off his fancy uh, particle effects. I see. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa! The way that connects looks cool, but that's not what I was trying to do. It sort of looks like he's conjuring a spell in the corner. I've got to say, he's charging up for an attack. Uh, let's go find some other, some other textures. Uh, the other ones that we want. I think we're going to have to craft them, to be fair. So what one are we trying to craft? I think we don't have any of them. So let's go to Darkstone Tile. What are your uses? Nothing. Do we have any just Darkstone? We do. That's the one I want. Decorative, and you need stone in the middle. Do you know what? We don't have any stone down here. Let's go up. Let's go up top. E. Rich says, "Well, that was longer than expected. What exactly was longer? Black redstone lamps, says Josh Howley. That would probably look really good, actually. But yeah, we've got these other things now. X, what's your favourite quote? <laughs> I've got a few. Uh, <laughs> but none, none ever come to mind when, when I get asked on the spot. Uh, Killer Killer Asto Sammy says XVX ear. In order to use that, you have to uh, you have to be a subscriber. I love those icons though; they look amazing. That's for when I get a noise in my ear. Right, we'll chuck these things in there. And what are we doing again? <laughs> uh, we came back here to grab some stone, I believe. And we got some. The Building Fox says, what are you doing X? We're playing a little bit of this game called Minecraft, but I know you want something more specific than that, don't you? Um, we are working on the smeltery area down below. Now, I told the others that I was going to go over and check out the uh, the like community area for the games thing, but then it like the, the inspiration hit me, and all of a sudden all of this over here started coming to... Ah! <laughs> and then I did that. It's that's actually it's almost a little bit quicker, really, isn't it, than swatch, uh, swapping hot bars? But then they're gonna got to do it for this bit anyway. Let's finish this already. Right, I gotta say though, as good as that looks, it sort of looks a bit out of place because <laughs> it's just sort of in there over the corner, and it doesn't make much sense. But hey, you know, you learn as you go along. It's nice to incorporate little tricks and do new things. Okay, let's whack that until it's fat. That's how you make things that people, just whack them. And then we need a material up the top here. I think I'd actually like these to be ex... I was about to say have these blocks exposed, so we put our tiles there. But I think actually that makes them jump out a bit too much, so... Let's actually put them in at that height. Yeah, that looks better. And this should help make the ceiling look a little bit darker at least. And it fills in all the gaps around here. stuff. 
X, what the bit of this live? Gingo. All of it is live, but I got a feeling I didn't really understand your question. Okay, that thing looks kind of weird, <laughs> but we'll leave it like that. It's alright. It's different. It's there. Leave it alone. Um, okay, so next thing to do. One, two, three. Barrier blocks. One, two, three. Barrier blocks. There's also some basalt down there, strange enough. And I'm not sure if we were actually going to put the furnaces here or not, but I can't help but feel that that helps tie in the room a fair bit. Yeah, that's definitely going to go there. Um, and then this wall over here will collide with it. And it's almost as if it's got room for one more. How do you make lava stones, says Awesome Math? No idea. <laughs> I've made it before. You'll have to look at the recipe for it with any eye. Oh, that's not supposed to go there. How about we just get more seared bricks? Where are they? I don't see any. Yeah, so I think what we might do is just have this wrap around in the corner a touch when we come to it. Bam, let's go get some seared bricks. Um... Here we go, we'll take two of those, and I think we just need that to craft them right. Bam, there we go. Good stuff. Okay, um... Oh, do we still have the other materials on us? We do, look at that. Only enough for the one window, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, oh no, no, we ran out again. What am I doing? I'm so silly. I needed. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to put them there and I got carried away. Let's go make some more. And that is actually the last of our seared bricks for now, so use them wisely, isn't it? Okay, um, so we, let's say it wraps around like this. I just want to see what is that potentially going to look like. Probably will end up looking alright. So we haven't filled in all the gaps, but there you go. What, let me know what you think, people. This side over here, well and truly done. This bit's come along well. Middle bit's sorted out. And we're going to have a bit more depth and shape in the back area there. I'm picture, picturing some roofs that sort of curve up and then down again into some tanks that we'll build around the back. So all of this needs to get dig, dug out back here, which we'll do uh, in the next stream. Like going way back probably, sort of round to here, maybe a bit further. Bam, that is some crazy mining going on. Is it me or none of the drop none of the blocks have dropped down? Um yeah, so we'll have something like that going. Right, now we're gonna go over to spawn for real this time. So any of the peeps wanna show me where this thing is? I'm looking at you, Pony Butts. <laughs> oh yeah, Pony Butts has a little assumer skin if you look closely. Uh well, you can sort of see it's purplish. Oh, Team Monkey does as well, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we were supposed to get a selfie the other day. And we didn't. Let's... Here you go. They'll know what to do. <laughs> now, now, because the stream hasn't caught up yet, they're looking at me going, what's the Sumer doing again? Why is he doing that? What, what's he dancing for? <laughs> there you go. Anyway, you can see Team Monkey's got like a, a little pink Asuma skin on. And so is Pony Butts, but Pony Butts has already gone. Right, let's let's get to it. Let's fly. Let's fly, fly away. And uh, and go check out what's going on at this spawn area. I've heard all about. Uh, entity shifter on this side. ACG says I'm back. Welcome back, buddy. Ugh. Uh, there we go, right, we're at the top. Just gotta wait for the others. The Building Fox says, Asuma has forgotten his tea 636 times during the stream. I have forgotten my tea.
and it's dirt cold because we've been streaming for two hours. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, that's that's bone cold tea. That's not cold tea. That's bone cold tea. Is also math showing us the way? Where is it? X, get back down here, you derp. What have I done? Oh, maybe it's not in this area. Maybe we have to use the entity shifter. Or, sorry, the little... The room thing. Does Sabre know where it is? Asuma, some peeps want to know when your next scrap mechanic stream will be. Uh, quite likely tomorrow morning. Hi, everyone's heading over here then? The arcade! I like the colour scheme at the entrance there. Oh, I like this. Welcome to the arcade. Do you know what? Colour scheme spot on. Very arcade style. Sweet. Built by Tompy and a Aginidis. Ugh, every time. Butchered that name. To spawn. Oh, where's the way in? Here? Flat lamp. That's not a... Oh. Up. Wow. What a view. What an incredible view. Just saying. That's impressive. <laughs> uh, the colour of that glass with the water behind it. That was, yeah, that was a stunning view. And now I'm getting whacked because I'm not paying attention. So there's four different directions, but we're going in this one. Also, these like half blocks. Look at that, half blocks. And I'm going to sneeze. Let's mute my mic. Oh my god, right. <laughs> Down we go. Or up. Apparently we're going up. And, wow, this place is certainly cool. I love this build theme. Just, yeah, use all the limestone. That's great. So we've got information and history of thy maze. Is it an actual maze? Oh, what was that noise? <laughs> oh. Okay, right, we are now... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. And there's the occasional ethereal glass. Right, where do we have to go though? I wanted to fly up and above. Is there is there an obvious exit anywhere to see? Derpex, you need one of those fancy tea warming USB thingies. I read about them, apparently they're very uh, very gimmicky. They don't really do a good job. Right, that's the dead end. <laughs> there's a load of people roaming around in here now. Is this also a dead end? That's definitely a dead end. That's a dead end. Let's have a look in the next one. That's also a dead end there. And we'll go down this way, which sort of leads us back to the same place, does it not? It does, so we'll keep going left here. Charles Afflin said, I sneezed at the same time. Did you? Remember, there's stream lag. So we'll never know if it's synchronized sneezing. Um, that's a dead end. Where, where is the exit? Is the thing I want to know. Like, I, I feel like I'm heading to the opposite corner, but where's the obvious thing that you should be able to see? Maybe there should be something you should be able to see. Because I, I, I'm heading over here, but I don't see anything. There's also no. Oh, there might be a right turn. Okay, it doesn't appear actually like there's anything in this corner, does it? No, that's just another dead end. Where are we going? I don't know where we're going. If you have silk touch, the exit is easy. I guess, yeah, you can get yourself out of here, no problem. But I, I want to get to the exit, and I don't know where the exit is. Right, and this is, like, the opposite corner over here. This is di disorientating, says Thomas Miz. There's an entity shifter, that's the exit. Where is it? I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it at all. I don't see it, okay. Anyway, we're trying to head back. Maybe it's in the other corner. <laughs> awesome map is also saying where's the exit. I have no idea. Right, so... We can see clearly see something there. <laughs> That's the way we came in, though. So there's got to be another one. I mean, is the exit actually next to the entrance? Is that the idea? Is it a joke? Apparently there is no exit. Did we start here or, or there? I think we started here. I reckon we've got to get to that bit. So, 
Although it's close, I bet you it's going to be way further away to get around to this side than you think. You see, I can see already this is a dead end, like that's going to go right. So we need to go left of where we are now into that area. But how does it connect up? How do we get into that space? Because I don't... Oh, just there. Oh, wait, no, this... Right, the other side, um... Oh, wow. So much... Oh, I'm starving. No! Cannot starve to death. Embarrassing. Forever doing a bit of backtracking here. Oh man, I did not expect to be doing a maze right now. This is pretty cool. Uh, no, that's not it. Right, now does this turn left? No. The left hand turning is behind it, which is sort of where we were a moment ago, right? Yeah, look. So the left hand turn is there. And we need to get into it through... So we just need to get back around to the far side again. So we were sort of there when we turned around. Okay, right, we'll be able to do this. This isn't too difficult. I wonder how they built this. I would have built the like the path to the end first and then just built all the other stuff around it. Okay, so now we're down at this end. I'm hoping... Well, it doesn't connect directly to that bit, but it does doesn't connect. Okay, I think I see where it might connect. Just here. So we've probably got to go back on ourselves a little. Yeah, up and around. We need to get onto that bit. Which, oh my god, it's so difficult to follow. That is connected where? Through this path. I'm looking at it. I'm <laughs> backtracking so much. But that's, oh, it's just connected up there. Wait, what? Oh, through here, okay. Right, I do believe this has set us on the right path now. Now, if we can go all the way up there, now that's a dead end, but through here should lead us around to the, the next bit over. Okay. Can't go through there, but can go this way. Excellent. So now we're heading down this side. I mean, it's tempting to run all the way to the end, but I'm going to guess that's probably not the way you get through. Uh, let's take one of these big corridors through the middle. Looks like everyone else is a little bit further ahead. Uh, let's head down here. So we're getting closer to it now. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. That's also it's a lot of dead ends here. <laughs> but this one isn't, and that takes us real close. So we might be able to see where we're going. Oh, look. Is that it? Have we done it? Oh, no! No, we haven't! Oh, we haven't. Uh, right, we are going to go into this corridor here. That's a dead end, so it's that corridor. Which goes up around, so it connects to that one, which is part of this. Oh wow, that is difficult. Oh, but we can go in there. So it's the one the opposite side of where we are now. It's literally that bit, and it goes... It's like a dead end there. Oh. <laughs> uh, we've got to get somewhere else over there. I lost track of where it was. Um, how do we get into the other side of all of these? Because hmm. I reckon now are we going? That's going back down to the. Or does it turn to the right? Yeah, it turns over here. So this is leading us into that area again, uh, and it's all sort of split up with corridors. So one of these might take us there. Uh, what about that one? Hmm. Uh, is Pony Butts cheating? Don't tell me the way, Pony Butts. Oi, no, no. <laughs> Don't. I like solving these sort of things. Oh, she better not be walking all the way there. <laughs> I bet she is. Now she's got set her on fire. Oh dear. Well, okay, we've had a helping hand and we saw that the path was somewhere around here. Yeah, now, it, now it's nice and easy. It's all too easy now. Ah! <laughs> well, we made it out. That was pretty cool. Congratulations on conquering thy maze. To exit, take the elevator downstairs. BAM! And we didn't go anywhere. Oh, there we have. Oh, wow. 
That's cool. That's very cool. Trapdoors. <laughs> it's right there. I like that. That was cool. Let's see what else there is here. My server did a maze like this a few weeks ago. I think we used a different clear glass though, so we couldn't see the pattern on the floor or the vertical corners. I think without the patterns it would have been too cruel. Minecraft trivia coming soon. Oh, there's glass up here. And over on this side, Sky Spleef Inc. Rule books. There's like a game of spleef over here. Let's just have a quick look at what's going on. Ah, so it's with glass, and then it's surrounded by perhaps blocks you can't instant mine. Looks pretty cool. Uh, how do we get back? <laughs> how do we get back? That's a good question. I reckon after the game's over, you fall down through here. So let's fall down. Oh, there's a hockey field over there. And you teleport it back. Amazing st Wait, what? <laughs> It's like the same room but somewhere else. It's like it's been... Whoa! Game crashed! Oh dear. I'll tell you what though, that's all I got time for really, so... <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you everyone for coming by and watching. Of course hit the follow button if you haven't done already. And uh, you can follow the second channel on YouTube if you want to... Um, if you want to... <laughs> uh, yeah, see the live stream again when it's on YouTube. And if you want to play on the server with uh, me and everyone else, you can do so by becoming a patron, the link is on the screen. Just going to go and check and see if uh, Cubehamster is streaming at the moment. And then we'll do a raid if so. And actually, do you know what, I've got a page bookmark that will tell me if they're live. Let's go use that. Sumo raid, there it is. And False is live, so we're going to raid False. Thank you everyone for watching, and uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.